today i'm gonna to be doing a showcase of the midnight cs2 cheat uh this cheat has been around for a while and it's probably one of the best legit cheats on the market if you guys do want to pick it up head over to the link down below it'll bring you to recoverykings.net all you guys have to do is add this to your cart once you guys go ahead and do so just hit view cart at the top uh, or you guys can go up to the top right and you guys can use my discount code to bring your total down five percent uh without further ado let's get in the showcase all righty guys we are now loaded up in game uh let's buy a gun real quick i do have trigger bot on i'm gonna turn that off for the time being uh but basically i mean i haven't i haven't really played uh cs2 in a bit actually it's been probably a week or two um but uh midnight is definitely probably one of the best cheats out there right now it still is has been for a while uh they're always updated uh to the latest game version and they're usually really really quick to do so this guy's definitely walling look at him go it's actually uh it's kind of funny um but anyway they have the best skin changer uh personally uh, you just go up here go to inventory and you guys basically can add all of these and it's really easy to do just hit add and you basically click anything but uh, for the sake of this video i'm gonna do a quick showcase before i actually get into the gameplay aspect starting off with your aimbot here basically your aimbot is what automatically shoots onto the players basically you can enable this you can set your kill delay uh as well as enable multi points as well if you guys want to change your point scale you guys can do that as well uh, your lock on percentages for your x and y and you guys can also enable trigger bot which basically automatically shoot onto the players once you guys look at them and then you guys can also enable like a recoil script if you guys want to adjust your recoil to make it easier to hit people uh, if i'm going legit legit on prime usually i just enable champs uh, and i use trigger bot and i don't even really need to use aimbot to be honest with you uh, but look at these like wall hacks they're actually pretty solid i might need to use a recoil script actually that's uh this is pretty bad but if you guys do want to configure uh, individual weapons here basically go to the weapons tab here and uh, it's going to auto select whichever weapon you have out so if i switch it will you know basically switch over and you guys can change the individual components for those player options are basically your esp for example i disable that and the actual esp is going to go away uh chams as well as you guys can see the pink color on them and then when i look at them it switches to blue uh you guys can basically change that as well uh if you guys want to go ahead and do so it's also really weird uh, not playing with a headset uh i mean obviously i'm cheating and i don't really need one necessarily uh if you guys want to make it look more legit i would highly suggest using a headset uh but for example i'm just gonna tap this once and i'm gonna see where this guy goes i'm gonna be like oh what the fuck i didn't think you could walk behind that anyway moving over to your items here you have your uh, weapon esp if a weapon is dropped basically you can have it you know have like an icon for example as well as your projectiles when you throw them in the air for example it'll have like a tracer effect uh, as well as their c4 bomb view here basically you can change your uh, chams as well as your hands as you guys can see you can make them like blue or whatever i personally like how they look now uh without any changes hud as well you guys can enable uh, for example your sniper cross here your behind list spectator list as well as your radar if you guys want to see where they are you can do an in-game radar as well to show them uh on the actual mini map instead of having like an external radar uh but uh for the case of this let's just get in this round real quick and i'll show you guys the other options moving over to your main here uh you have your uh, trusted mode as well as your auto accept in your streamer mode if you guys want to enable that streamer mode will basically hide it from obs uh panic keys as well if you guys want to unload the menu for example you could set one of those panic keys you can also change your hit sounds as well as your kill sounds movement options here to your bunny hop as well as your uh, strafe helper uh it's not going to work because i have trusted mode on so if you go up here and you turn trusted mode off and then these will be enabled inventory basically like i went over you guys can have your skins and your cloud where you can save or load configs and that is basically going to be it for the menu side of things i'm looking for some other content to make so if you guys have any uh recommendations send me some comments down below uh, i think tomorrow i'm going to do a predator.systems video recovery kinks my sponsor for this video and basically my channel sponsors uh they're actually going to start selling predator.systems which is a uh, another legit cheat that is actually really good i believe they had an update it's like their 2.0 update it's apparently really really big i think it's an external but uh, don't quote me on that i've never used it personally uh, but based on the screenshots i've seen i've gotten sent to me they actually uh they have a pretty good cheat developed uh in the uh cs2 scene if you guys do want to see any other cheats sold on recovery king's website let me know down below as well uh i was thinking maybe getting some other cheats uh i'm not really sure you know what i have in mind um you know maybe vanity um i don't know maybe a few externals i'm not really sure to be honest but uh i'm also trying to branch out into different games uh, obviously some games aren't safe as we know with gta content uh you know it's pretty shot i just did a spoofing video as well not too long ago 
so if you guys maybe maybe even a discord sponsor or something let me know uh, i'm trying to get somebody big i had a previous discord sponsor that uh, kind of fucked me over so i, I had to uh, basically put that video on private Alrighty guys, after probably 10 fucking minutes of uh, waiting for a queue, I'm actually in a game. Uh, you know, it's pretty cool when the game wants to work and function. Uh, my trust factor is probably shot, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but, uh, you know, that's besides the point. I'm gonna turn on the recoil script, and I'm gonna see if I can get this to work a little bit better in my favor. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, in my uh, opinion, I think Midnight has probably the best UI out of all the uh, cheats I've used personally. I mean, it fucking never disappoints. It's clean. It works all the time. Uh, they have the best inventory changer and every, I mean, it literally just works perfectly fine. A lot of the cheaper menus, um, which I'm not going to mention, we don't even sell them to be honest with you, but, uh, basically they don't really work half the time and, or they look like shit. So, uh, you know, that's something new. Why the fuck is this guy planning? It's also crazy when people complain they're like oh seven dollars is a lot for a cheat but if you think about it in terms of like other games uh they uh range from like you know 30 to like a hundred dollars a month for uh you know a cheat i think seven dollars is very reasonable considering how safe midnight actually is uh what the fuck was that i've never seen a bomb explosion like that <laughs> that up close it's actually kind of crazy if you guys do want to be in any of the videos uh message me on discord and you guys if i'm free uh, and need somebody to be in a video you guys can uh, shoot me a message and I'll uh, let you guys join for a video uh, With that being said in terms of this video, I did actually change the lighting Well, it's been changed for the past few videos, but uh, in terms of like my cs2 videos, it's kind of new uh, I used to run red and uh, Blue I think I actually can't remember but uh, I did basically just change the whole layout I basically changed the loadout to like a bluish purple uh, honestly, that's what I use for champs most of the time in game because I love the two colors. They look really good together. So if you guys like the new lighting, uh, let me know down below as well. If you guys want to see different lighting, uh, you know, setups in different videos, I can always switch it up. Like Halloween, I could probably do like orange and uh, purple or something. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I think that'll actually look kind of cool, orange and purple. I also really like to do in 5M content, but uh, Rockstar Games does not uh, like when I do that kind of content, clearly. I actually have one channel strike because of them fuckers. Um, but really, doing those videos was fun, man. It's kind of disappointing. I actually really enjoy doing them. Using Nexus was probably my favorite on 5M servers. It's probably the best menu out right now. And uh, people would get so fucking mad when they realized, like... Like, for example, if cops tried to, like, handcuff me or something, if I was going to jail and I just removed them, they'd get so fucking pissed. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know how I killed him. I, like, barely fucking looked at that guy. It's actually kind of cooked. Also, if you guys want to see more uh, CS2 streams, like with Fatality, for example, let me know down below. I actually do have early access. I mean, I think it was released to everybody who is eligible now. Um, but I did do one stream with fatality so far. So if you guys want to see more of those, let me know down below. Using fatality is so fun though. I mean, that cheat is actually insane. The devs put a lot of fucking time into it. Oh, you know, another cheat that I kind of want to use actually, I want to use spurt hack. I used it back in CSGO and that shit was really fun. I, uh, and it was probably one of my favorites. I mean, they even had a, um, a skin changer and a lot of YouTubers use that bitch to do like fake case openings. It was kind of fucked up, but. Also, my, uh, my audio should be a lot more clear now. I had a uh, power supply issue because basically when I bought my computer, uh, they basically put a really shitty fucking power supply in it. It was like a PBR or some shit, I think the brand was. Uh, but anyway, it was a dog shit power supply and I think like the ball bearing went bad in the fan. And when I'd play games like for a long time or like uh, high intense games like Red Dead, it would basically start fucking rattling like a bitch and it would get so loud. And it would basically play in all of my videos and uh, it was really hard because like you could barely remove that shit from the mic so i think i just got a thermal take uh you know power supply and i put that in real quick right before this video and uh i mean so far that thing is fucking silent and they have like an eco mode on it too where uh if it's not in like high demand it'll turn the fan off which is also pretty cool to stay uh stay quiet um i thought it was my gpu the whole time like i don't i don't know why i just figured because my uh, gpu brand's a pny which i feel like is pretty dog shit um so i always thought it was that and i was like you know what it's probably the power supply so i took the uh, power supply out the other day 
And uh, I was like, holy shit, it was the power supply the whole time. So I bought one on Amazon. Luckily, it was on sale too. It was like, I don't know, 30 bucks off. And uh, that's pretty much fixed all the issues I've had so far. This computer is basically my uh, editing computer and my like personal shit computer, like of personal games. Um, and that's never had an issue. But basically my other computer that I'm actually playing on right now is the one that had the issue. Um, that one you guys cannot see in frame actually. If you guys do want to see any more rage type of videos too, like, uh, I don't know, raging in, uh, in regular matches, let me know down below too. I haven't like done any raging in Premiere either in a long time. Um, but I think I found a new account seller that's selling them for pretty fucking cheap. All right, well, that being said, I'm just going to go a little bit harder here. I'm going to load up this semi rage config, which basically, uh, will, uh, you know, do everything for me. I'm going to turn that off and, uh, I'm going to go back into third person and I'm going to do a little bit of raging here. I only got a few rounds left, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. As you guys can see, I'm going to jump around and I'm going to go ahead and fucking kill him just like that just to show you guys what uh, midnight can also do in terms of a little bit more rage but uh, midnight has really good champs too you know who else actually has really good champs plague i actually really do like enjoy their uh visuals they're uh they're actually pretty powerful as well i am not going to lie but uh you know in terms of like rage fucking fatality dude their champs are fucking sick but uh, with that being said, now that this game is over, that actually is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, like I said, if you guys want to see any other content, let me know down below.